I'm living a dream. He always wanted to be a farmer, and he's accomplishing what he wanted, getting his goals, and it's going perfect. He always says, if you have a job that you love, it's not really work. It's what you love. The dream is being able to develop and grow a business that I create opportunity for my children to be able to succeed in going into the future. If I didn't have my family members behind me, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. Goes to dad who started it all. Pagel's Ponderosa Dairy. It all started when Carl and Garnet Pagel bought a small farm in Kiwati County. In 1946, he borrowed money from a neighbor to buy this farm that was up for sale. He bought the farm with uh, eight cows and uh, chickens and a couple of hogs, and that's the way he started out. I took over in 1978 with 65 cows and uh, uh, 320 acres, and we're currently milking 4,600 cows at this location, cropping 7,500 acres. Pagel's Ponderosa is now the largest single-family-owned dairy in the state of Wisconsin. To know the Pagels, one should understand that family is the core of their business. The Ponderosa is truly a working family farm. With three generations of Pagels and the fourth generation poised to take over, the Ponderosa will remain a family farm for years to come. The farm also employs 100 highly skilled workers who are all treated as members of the family. The Pagels consider their farm a complete ecosystem encompassing the circle of life, starting with fertile land to grow feed, giving the cows that feed so they can produce milk, and in turn the cows, through their nutrient-rich waste, give back to the land all in the most efficient and environmentally friendly way possible. The environment is very important to Pagels Ponderosa. As you know, you know, dairy farmers themselves are environmentalists. They plant their crops, harvest their crops to feed the animals, apply the nutrients back from the manure from the animals, and then they and then we grow the crop again for the following year. As responsible stewards of the land, the Pagels took part in a study with the University of Wisconsin Discovery Farms program. For over eight years, the study monitored surface and tile drainage water quality on the farm. Information learned from management practices at Pagels was shared with others in the agricultural community so they could make better management decisions regarding crop production and the environment. Pagel's Ponderosa Dairy employs a crop and soils specialist that helps maintain the fields for optimum plant growth and health of the land. The soils are tested periodically to monitor nutrient content and prevent soil erosion. The soils specialist knows the condition of the land and where crops should be planted to yield the best nutritional value for the cows. For approximately six months out of the year, crops are grown to feed and nourish the animals. Fields of corn, alfalfa, and hay are planted in early spring. Alfalfa is harvested all summer long at 30-day intervals, and corn is harvested in the fall. Crops are planted on a rotational basis by alternating deep-rooted and shallow-rooted plants. Rotating crops is necessary to prevent soil erosion. The Pagels use the most technologically advanced machinery to plant and harvest their crops. These machines allow them to harvest between 600 and 800 acres a day. After harvest, the feed is then stored in horizontal feed bunker silos that will keep the cows fed all winter long. Cows at Pagel's Ponderosa Dairy are fed a very specialized diet that provides them with the best balance of nutrition. Cows are fed a total mixed ration, or TMR, which is a recipe of several different nutritional components. Feed is catered to a particular period of a cow's life cycle. 
the farm employs a dairy nutritionist who makes sure that Pagel's cows receive the best feed available. Feed is tested on a weekly basis to ensure the highest quality. This ensures that they produce the highest quality milk that you as a consumer demand. Milk is what it's all about on the Ponderosa. That starts with the cow. Cows are fed enough feed in the morning to give them the nourishment they need to produce milk all day long. Cows are milked three times a day on a state-of-the-art 72-stall rotary parlor, and each cow gives an average of 10 gallons of milk per day. We milk approximately 3,500 cows in this parlor. When they enter the rotary parlor, they are standing on a rubber mat for cow comfort. It takes about four minutes for the cows to be milked and about eight minutes for the cows to go all the way around. After they're done in about the four minutes, the, the milkers are automatically come off. When you see the cows, you can see them chewing their cud. It's almost like a kid going on the carousel. They're very happy cows all the way around. Cow comfort is priority here at Pagel's Ponderosa Dairy. It comes down to cow care. A cow is a voluntary animal. She gives you everything that you need. The better you take care of her, the better she's going to take care of you. Pagel's Dairy has six free stall barns that provide over 500,000 square feet of living space for the cows. Each barn is equipped with bedding stalls for every individual cow. There is also plenty of space for animals to move around comfortably and exercise. Curtain side walls open for continuous airflow during summer and close for warmth during winter. Pagel's Ponderosa also has a barn dedicated to cows that are about to give birth. Cows have their calves in a special maternity ward inside the barn. The calves are then cared for and fed their mother's milk, called colostrum. After a few days of monitoring, calves are moved to a specially designed facility called the Ponderosa Calf Ranch. At the Calf Ranch, they will be monitored and given daily health checks. Young calves are kept in private pens to keep them as healthy as possible. As they get older, they will share space with other animals. You might think a cow's best asset is its milk, and you would be right. But cows also produce another product that is also as valuable, manure. For a dairy like Pagel's, manure is one of its most valuable commodities. Manure is stored in holding tanks where it will stay until it's ready to be processed. Manure has four separate uses at Pagel's Ponderosa. In its liquid form, it is spread back on soil as natural fertilizer, saving the environment from chemical fertilizers. Manure liquids can be separated from the solids. Some of the solids are then processed into potting soil, which the Pagels allow their neighbors to take and use for their gardens and landscaping. The majority of the solids are dried, sterilized, and used as bedding for cows, providing a light, airy mattress for cows to rest comfortably. Lastly, manure can be processed into biofuel with the help of a manure digester. Liquid manure is stored in an air-free tank and heated to release methane. The methane then powers a generator that creates electricity. With the power generated from the digester, Pagel's Ponderosa provides almost enough power for the neighboring city of Kiwani, a town of 3,000. So as you tour the farm, take a deeper look. You will find that stewardship of the land, respect for animals, and commitment to producing a quality product that's healthy, wholesome, and tasty is a family value at Pagel's Ponderosa. Everybody has such a strong passion to do the best that they can. That to me is, is the thing that I, should, that, I, that I am the most proud of. You know, for him, he's, you know, like I said, he's living the dream. He loves what he does, and you know, hopefully uh, us kids can take over what, what he has now after he retires. He takes everybody in and treats them just as well as probably his own kids. So I think in relation that, everybody that works here knows that and treats the farm back with more respect too. He feels that he's, he's achieved more than what he's expected himself to and what anybody else ever expected him to do. 
Thank you for coming to Pagel's Ponderosa Dairy. And remember, drink milk. It does a body good. Hocus Pocus. Grass into Alakazam. Milk. I did it. I really did it. I hate to rain milk on your parade, but cows have been doing that naturally for a million years. And they didn't need a magic wand either. You have to admit, it's pretty magical for something to turn grass into liquid protein. Makes you wonder, how in the world do they do that? Well, Magic Man, as you're about to find out, that glass of milk represents all kinds of science and technology. Because we're headed to a high-tech dairy farm. Welcome to Pagel's Ponderosa Dairy. This is a modern dairy farm that uses today's technology with good old-fashioned know-how to care for and milk our dairy herd. It's also a family farm where we share in the work and rewards of living on a dairy farm. We know that healthy and happy cows produce the best milk. Plus, properly caring for cows is the right thing to do. That's why our cows live in big barns where they're given shelter, good food, water, and care. So we know that for cows to stay healthy and produce lots of milk, they need to eat the right food. So how has that changed from 100 years ago when they mostly ate grasses? Here at Pagels, we have cow nutrition scientists who blend the best food for our cows. This special blend helps them stay healthy and produce quality milk. We also give them fresh water to drink and have a veterinarian cow doctor make sure they're healthy. Each cow has its own place to bed down and rest. Its bedding material is made from processed and dried cow manure. It's comfortable for the cows and helps recycle waste, which helps the environment. Oh, you gotta see this. I found out where they raised the baby cows. I mean, calves. Plus, they let the kids help raise them too. Calves are baby cows, and like all babies, they require special care. Soon after a calf is born, it's moved to a calf barn for its safety and care. Here, we make sure the calf is warm and dry and give it soft straw bedding. We even give them calf jackets during cold weather. Calves also get special care in feeding. We feed them colostrum milk from her mother in a big baby bottle for the first two days and then switch her over to pasteurized milk. They also begin eating a blend of calf grain after they're a few days old. Each calf is given a computer ear tag so we can monitor its health record. Our family farm kids here really enjoy helping raise and care for our calves. To feed our 4,500 cows here, we need to grow a lot of hay and corn. So we farm the lands using more technology to complete our crop duties efficiently. We fertilize our fields with recycled cow manure. It feeds the plants to grow well and help the environment. We use big tractors and machinery to help plant, grow, and harvest the crops that feed our cows. Because each cow can eat 120 pounds of food per day. This is a big job growing, storing, and mixing all that cow food. But the real question is, how do cows turn this stuff into milk? Do you have any guesses? It all starts with the cow's digestive system. It's pretty cool. Unlike us humans, ruminants, such as cows, can digest cellulose plant material like hay and grass. Their biological secret is a four-chambered stomach called a rumen that allows them to partially digest, regurgitate, chew, and redigest plant material to turn it into nutrients. They get help from natural micro-fermentation in the rumen that helps break down and turn the mixture into nutrients. All that mixture contains water, vitamins and minerals, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. When it moves into the intestine, the nutrients get absorbed in the bloodstream and taken to the udder. That's where the cow does its magic. Well, I mean the science of making milk. The udder has these special sponge-like cells that turn the nutrients into milk, and it collects in the udder. And now, the part you've all been waiting for, we're actually gonna find out how to milk some cows. Here, each of our 4,500 cows are milked three times a day. Each cow produces about 10 gallons of milk per day. To milk our cows, we use a blend of science and safety. The milking takes place on this giant turntable called a rotary milking parlor. It 
It's like a slow merry-go-round where the cows step on board for their eight-minute trip around the different parts of the milking process. At the first station, a worker checks the quality of their milk and sanitizes their udders. That's where the milk comes from. The next worker makes sure the udders are clean and dry. The cows rotate to the next station where the milking machine is attached to the udder. The milk flows from the milking machine through tubing and pipes to a chilling machine that cools the milk to 36 degrees. Then, it gets pumped into a milk tanker truck so it can be hauled to a milk bottling factory or a factory that makes cheese. Hello? Is anyone there? Well, I had 100 years ago, what they used to do is milk all the cows by hand. And it used to take 10 to 15 minutes to milk one cow, and they only used to give a couple quarts of milk. Now, we can milk a cow in four minutes, and we can harvest as much as 10 gallons of milk per cow per day. This was great! Now I know all about milking. It's definitely technology at work. It's an anaerobic digester system, and it powers the whole town, and generates electricity and all kinds of other valuable stuff from cow manure. The manure from our cows gets pumped into a big underground holding tank called an anaerobic digester. It heats the manure mixture and helps natural bacteria produce gas as it breaks down the manure. This methane gas is cleaned and then powers this giant engine. The engine turns a big turbine that produces electricity for the local community. The manure that's left is separated into dried biosolids for cow bedding and liquid fertilizer for farm fields. So next time you drink milk or eat cheese, think about all the science, technology, and know-how that we use here at Pagel's Ponderosa Dairy to care for our cows, help the environment, and bring you healthy dairy products to enjoy.